Welcome to this ANSYS How To Series video. In this lesson, we will learn how to use the ANSYS Fluent Post Processing to visualize and analyze the results on the Formula SAE car. First, we will learn to estimate the total lift and drag forces on the car. We will then create and interpret contours of velocity magnitude and static pressure. We will also learn how to create a velocity vector plot to help us understand the fluid flow behavior around the FSAE car. Are you interested in learning these post-processing techniques? Let's get started. Most of the post-processing in ANSYS Fluent is done from the results tab. In this tab, we can create additional surfaces for post-processing and add graphics such as contours, vectors, and path lines to visualize the results. We can also calculate the surface and volume integrals, fluxes, and forces from the reports section in this tab. First, we will estimate both drag and lift forces on the car by clicking on forces under reports. We will highlight all the wall zones related to the FSAE car as shown. Ensure that the direction vector is pointing in the direction of the flow. Here, the value of 1 for x means that the forces are estimated along the x direction. The drag force experienced by each part as well as the total drag force on the car is printed in the Fluent console. The corresponding drag coefficients are also printed here. As highlighted, the rear wing and the car chassis contribute significantly to the overall drag. It is important here to note that these printed values are at the end of 600th iteration. Since the drag values are fluctuating in the simulation, the best way to estimate the steady value would be to calculate the average over several hundred iterations. The average drag coefficient is approximately 1.14. Now, Let's change the direction vector as shown here to estimate the lift force experienced by the car. The total lift force as well as the corresponding lift coefficient have a negative sign. This means that the car is experiencing a net force in the negative y direction which acts to keep the car on the ground at the speed. This downward force on the car is commonly referred to as the downforce. The front and rear wings of the car contribute significantly to the overall downforce experienced by the car. Next, we will create some contour plots to understand the general flow field around the car. Before doing this, let us first display the entire car geometry. Click on display from the mesh section of the domain tab and highlight all the surfaces related to the car. We only see half the car. To show the entire car model, click on the views tab and open the views panel under the display section. Select the symmetry phase zone as a mirror plane. Click on apply and ANSYS Fluent will display the full model of the car in the graphics window. Now, click on New under Contours in the Graphics section to create a new contour. Let us first display the contours of velocity magnitude on the symmetry plane. Select Velocity from the Contours of drop-down and highlight the symmetry surface. Ensure that the global range is deselected. Hit Compute to obtain the range and click Save Display to show the contour in the graphics window. The velocity plot 
helps us identify the low and high velocity regions. We can see that the velocity at the front of the car decelerates sharply to zero. This is called a fluid stagnation point. Similar stagnation points are observed on the driver helmet and the top portion of the rear wing. If we zoom into the rear wing, we see flow acceleration near the bottom as it turns around the wing. A low velocity region is created right behind the car due to flow separation, which is generally referred to as the wake. Similar wake regions are created behind the rear wing of the FSAE car. We will learn more about the flow separation and how to identify these regions later. To complete our understanding of the aerodynamic forces experienced by the car, we will plot the static pressure contour on the plane of symmetry to analyze the pressure distribution around the car. Change the drop-down to select pressure. Hit compute to obtain the range and deselect both auto range and clip to range options. Change the minimum to minus 250 Pascal to facilitate a distinguishable difference between the high and low pressure values and click save display to show the contour. We observe a high pressure region at the nose of the car and a low pressure region behind the car. The high pressure in front of the car is due to flow stagnation and the low pressure region in the wake is due to flow separation and subsequent flow reversal behind the car. Similar high pressure regions are created on the top side of the front and rear wings. On the other hand, the bottom side of these wings experience low pressure. This uneven distribution of pressure around the wings and other car parts manifests itself into the drag force and downforce. We can obtain a general qualitative understanding of the flow field by looking at the velocity vector plots. Let us create an ISO surface of the Z coordinate to plot the vectors on. To do this, click on create under the surface section and select ISO surface. Pick mesh from the drop down list of surfaces of constant and select Z coordinate. Clicking compute should estimate the minimum and maximum ranges of Z coordinate in the computational domain. We should either be able to provide the input by entering a value under ISO values or use the slider bar to identify the correct plane we wish to create. Enter 0.6 meters under the ISO values input field. Change the name to Z is equal to 0.6 and hit create. Now click on vectors in the results tab and pick new to set up a vector plot. Rename this to velocity vector and choose the ISO surface that we just created and deselect the global range. Also, change the scale to 3. Before hitting save display to show the velocity vectors, let us select draw mesh option to display the FSAE car geometry. Also, go into the views panel and deselect the mirror plane. In the vectors window, click save display. We can now visualize the fluid flow behavior around the front wing and the wheels. Because of the rotational motion of the wheels, we see that the airflow near the wheels also has a strong rotational component. We also observe flow vortices, which are regions of rotating flow behind the front wing and the tires. That brings us to the end of our first lesson on post-processing. To summarize, we learned how to extract the drag force and downforce experienced by the car and also create contours and vectors to study the pressure distribution on different components, flow stagnation points and recirculating regions behind the wheels and the rear wing. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. 
to find additional tutorials related to our meshing tools or other topics check out our channel for more how to videos and visit ancestors.com/courses today